Hotline. Now, w- was this one you were familiar with, a fan of? What was your position on Hotline? Well, the thing about Hotline that cracked me up that you were that you brought it up is because I had literally watched it maybe a week before I listened to your episode. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't like you clued me in. I was. Uh, uh, I watched it uh, and I'm like, oh, you guys are doing. Uh, uh, a TV movie thriller is great, you know? And, uh, oh my God, we're going to talk about Hotline. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. <laughs> we need that at the start of the episode. Just you doing oh, that. Hey, Brian. That's got to be one of your running things. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Brian. I know. I agree. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. It's me. I've done some bad things. Well, if you want me to help you, you've got to tell me what kind of bad things. Yeah, hey, um, Brian. Well, I can... That was also an interesting choice to name her Brian. I loved it. I thought yeah. that. Was... <laughs> but so, quick, well, you had you had seen that before? Or you hadn't seen it? No, I no, I literally saw it the week before I listened to your show. Oh, that's so interesting because we were. No, without... I, I, yeah, when I watched it, I mean, like I listened to your show. I think only like you know, like a month ago or so. So it wasn't like when it was on. Well, sure, maybe sure. It was when. I remember. All right. Um, um, no, yeah, no, it was a, that was a current one. It wasn't it. Yeah. Really yeah, it was recent. yeah. Yeah. It was, it was recent, but okay, yeah. we were just curious because we noticed without spoiling too much, there's like some death proof stuff that you could kind of, you know, some similar well, there's more death proof stuff in it. Okay. For, Cause here's the thing. Okay. The reason I ended up watching hotline, uh, hotline. Oh, I, I'm, it's not unusual that I would watch hotline. I, I, <laughs> I watched TV movies of that era a lot. Uh, and I and I rather like Linda Carter and her TV movies. I think she they had a, she had a good taste when she when she chose them. Um, but I'm working on this sort of magnum opus, and I'm not exactly sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. Um, but it's called uh, uh, the films of Rick Dalton. Ooh, whoa! Where I'm going through his entire career, where it's like you know. Everything he did before what you see in the movie and everything he did after you see in the movie where every single movie, every single TV movie, every single episode he guested on and, uh, and, and, and writing it, you know, all like a, you know, like a, uh, uh, what do I have an example here? Uh, you know, these old kind of, uh, books that they used to have in the seventies, like the films of Charles oh, Ross, wow. the, the films of, uh, John Garfield or something. Uh, um, so I'm trying to do a Rick Dalton one, but I'm also dealing with like all of his TV episodes. And so some of them are my creations that I'm, I'm making up, but especially once you get past, uh, once he comes back from Italy and you go into the seventies and eighties, um, except for a few things, I'm choosing, uh, I'm, I'm choosing a lot of things that exist. So I'm choosing a lot of, uh, uh, well, there are definitely TV shows that existed, but there's specific episodes that exi- existed, and there are TV movies, and and it is just uh, instead of the actor who played the role in real life, Rick Dalton played. Mm, awesome, that's so. So cool. I'm switching Rick Dalton now, you know, and uh, uh, and so I've been watching a ton of stuff to kind of just feel oh, this would be right for Rick, that would not be right for Rick, this would be right, this would be right for Rick at this time period, that would be right for Rick at this period. Um, and so I don't have any hard or fast rule. I'm just kind of feeling it. However, there is a list of, I do have a, a group of actors that if they played the part, Rick could have played the part. Mm. <laughs> All right. So it's like, you know, so if Gary Lockwood in the seventies played the part, Rick could have played it. <laughs> I'm not, Rick wouldn't have started in model shop. All right. But he yeah. could have, but he, 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 you know, but he could have, done the Gary Lockwood $6 million man episode. Mm. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, all right, but he could. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, so it's like, you know, uh, uh, there's an actor named Cliff Potts. He fits into Rick's thing. Uh, Steve Forrest, who's in the hotline, fits into Rick's thing. Oh, Andrew yeah. Prime fits into Rick's thing. Yeah. Uh, so like, okay, for, uh, you're a big fan of William Birdley. So, okay, in, in my world, Rick plays the Andrew Pr- Prime role in Grizzly. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> so when I'm uh, looking for uh, TV movies, all of a sudden it hit me, I go, 
hey, well, if we're getting into the 80s or something like that, oh, uh, uh, Linda Carter TV movie would be good. She, she, she made pretty classy TV movies. That could be kind of neat. And also Monty Markham actually fits yeah. into my, uh, like, if he did it, Rick could have done it. <laughs> um, and so uh, it's like, oh, well, what, what's a good Linda Carter one to watch to find a good one for Rick? And, oh, well, this hotline sounds pretty good. It's a thriller. <laughs> it sounds like a neat idea. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll watch that one. And oh god, it has a uh, Sea Forest and uh, Monty Markham are both in it. Okay, it's a double <laughs> header. All right, see which which role would be better for Rick? So then I start watching the movie <laughs> with no idea about how apropos it's going to end up being, because okay, the the main plot of Hotline is Linda Carter is is a uh, 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 is a bartender who uh, gets a job at a hotline, um, a crisis hotline thing. And then there's a guy killing people and he's calling the crisis hotline and, and he's saying that he's the one killing, killing people. And he's, he and he's kind of tart. He's, he's creating this weird relationship relationship with, uh, Linda Carter. Um, but in the supporting cast is Steve Forrest and Monty Martin. And their roles in the movie is Steve Forrest is a former, is a cowboy star, is a faded cowboy star who has a drinking problem, <laughs> who owns a bar, and his best friend is his stuntman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that he shares the bar with. It's like, holy shit. Yep. <laughs> this is Rick and Cliff in yep. a TV movie. Big time. As supporting characters. They even go on a boat and go diving. <laughs> they, when they put to the scene on the boat, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the boat that they share. Yeah. I, I hadn't seen it, Quentin, and so uh, I went back to it for this, and I'm 20 minutes in, and I'm writing to Brian going, oh my, she's in a diner, there, it's a cowboy and a stuntman, and I was like, Quentin must have written it based on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it was like, I, I'm literally looking for something that Rick could do, all right? I don't see Forrest <laughs> and uh, Monty Mark, I have no idea what their characters are in the yeah. thing. I mean, it's a big, the exact dynamic. Amazing. <laughs> from my movie it, it, it blew me away <laughs> I, love I love that well That's but cool. by the end it's going it actually touches on one of your other movies so we won't we won't ruin it more than that but uh we don't want to ruin it more than that. no no i uh, i didn't i didn't go there i didn't go there. No, <laughs> no, I, no i'd love to see rick dalton play one of the last scenes in this movie <laughs> there's a scene yeah. i can't imagine rick, oh, no, I wouldn't know. Rick, rick would definitely be the steve forest character okay okay, okay. Got it, that makes yeah. sense that makes sense <laughs> rick is the steve forest got it, character. got it got it got it <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing. I hadn't even, I, for whatever reason, I hadn't put it all together, and it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, wonderful. Okay, well, so we got a long list here of great stuff to dig into. So let's.